Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about why you can't set cookies while you're rendering your server components. And I've got this Next.js app right here. Very simple page component. This is a server component. And we're just gonna go ahead and we are gonna to try to set a cookie. So we are gonna import Next's uh, cookie library and we're gonna call set and we'll say hello Next.js. Now, as soon as I save this file, we're gonna get a live reload and it's gonna pop up this error that says, cookies can only be modified in a server action or route handler, read more here. So let's go ahead and let's click this link. This is gonna bring us to the API docs of Next.js, just describing how to use cookies.set. Uh, but there's this little note down here. It says, good to know, HTTP does not allow setting cookies after streaming starts. So you must use set in a server action or route handler. So the reason that we can't set cookies has to do with HTTP and streaming. Now, if you've never heard of streaming before, it is this new feature in React that React server components can take advantage of. But the way it works can sometimes conflict with HTTP and cookies, and it can create a whole bunch of problems. So if we ever try to set a cookie from a server component, Next is just gonna immediately warn us not to do that and throw up this error here. But for us today, we wanna to understand why we can't set cookies during render. And in order to do that, we need to leave Next.js and we are gonna come over to this other app. This is another React Server Component app, but this is not Next.js. This is a React Server Component implementation that I wrote. And uh, there's one uh, key feature about this implementation. It allows you to set cookies during render. And that's gonna create a whole bunch of problems, but we're gonna use this app to highlight those problems. So just like in our next app, we are gonna come over to our page and we are gonna do uh, cookies and we're gonna call set and we'll do hello world. Let's reload our page and we're gonna pop open our dev tools, go to the application tab and right there we see our hello world cookie. If we clear our cookies and reload, we're gonna see it gets reset. Uh, not only that, but over in the network tab, uh, we are gonna see the server responds with our, our hello equals world cookie. So right now we have cookies working just fine in a React server component. Now the issue with setting cookies doesn't show up until we introduce streaming. But before we talk about streaming, we need to talk about suspense. Suspense is a new feature of React that allows us to deal with slow components. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a new component and I'm gonna call that slow component. And look at that, Copilot just completed my component. Uh, this component is gonna wait for one second and then it's gonna return a message that says, I finally loaded. And then up here in our page component, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna render slow component. And now you'll notice when we refresh this page, it is gonna take one second for uh, the response to come back from the server because we have this slow component that waits a second. I'm actually gonna make this a little slower. Let's uh, jump this down to two seconds and uh, just make it a little more apparent that this page is now very slow. Okay, so here's where suspense comes in. Suspense lets us deal with slow async components. So we can wrap our slow component in a new suspense boundary. So we're gonna import suspense from React, and then we're gonna have a fallback message that just says loading, and then finally we will close suspense. And now when we refresh, we're gonna get an instant message that says loading, and then we're gonna give our slow component time to load, and when it loads, we're gonna replace that loading message with a new message that says, I finally loaded. So suspense lets our page feel fast, even though we have slow components. Okay, uh, now, the problem with cookies. We're gonna go ahead and we are gonna duplicate this call to cookies.set and we're gonna drop it right inside our slow component and uh, we're gonna say another cookie and we'll just say one, two, three. Okay, let's reload our page. We see that our page is fully loaded. Let's go look at the response from our server. We see our set cookie uh, but we only see one set cookie. We only see hello world. We don't see this another cookie down here that never made it to our web browser. Uh, and not only that, but if we go to the application tab 
uh, and clear our cookies and reload, we see that hello world gets reset, but another cookie does not come through. And this bug with our cookies has to do with streaming. You see, the way that streaming works is React is going to stream down our components as they become available. So uh, if we go over to, let's see, let's go to the network tab and let's look at the response for our page. And right here, you're gonna see our message that says, hello world. And then under that, you're gonna see this div that says loading. This is our suspense boundary. This is basically the first render of our page, hello world plus loading. Uh, but then if we scroll down a bit, we're gonna get some JavaScript and uh, somewhere around down here, we're gonna see a new chunk of HTML comes in that says I finally loaded. And this is a result of our slow component. And then notice right underneath it, you're gonna see this called RC. It's gonna say B0 and S0. Well, S0 is uh, this div right here. It's a message that our component has finally loaded. And uh, the other parameter here is B0. And uh, if we scroll back up to our uh, loading message, you'll notice that that has this um, ID B0. And this is React's way of streaming in new content and then swapping out that loading message with a content that says, I finally loaded. And this is really cool. This is the feature of React that lets us stream in suspense boundaries. So we could have a page that had, say, 10 suspense boundaries. And as each of them resolved, we could uh, stream down their HTML and React would just swap their loading states with their, uh, with their content. So this is, again, this is really cool that all of this is built right into React, but it creates a problem with setting cookies. And there's one more thing to explain, and that is the anatomy of an HTTP request. So to show that to you, I have uh, somewhere in here an HTTP request example. So that when you make an HTTP request, you are gonna get a response from a server that looks like this. The very first line is gonna be the protocol version and the status code. Uh, the next block of lines is gonna be all the HTTP headers, and then you're gonna get a two new lines, and then finally the body of the response. Now, right here, we've got a text-based response, but uh, if we were using JSON, this could be a JSON object. If we were sending HTML, this would be a bunch of HTML tags. And the HTTP request has to have this anatomy. Your headers have to come first before your body. Once you start sending the body down, you cannot go back and append new headers. It's headers, new line, new line, body. And the way that streaming works is streaming actually wants to send the HTML ASAP. It wants to send that loading message right away. So if we look back at our page component, we are gonna send down HTML for this loading message before this slow component ever runs. So React wants to start sending HTML as quickly as possible. It wants to send our suspense fallback right away while our slow component is loading. And since this cookies.set is uh, after a promise, after our React app has already started streaming down HTML, we can't just go back and set a new cookies header. By the way, it's worth pointing out, I haven't explicitly said this, but cookies can only be set from an HTTP header. So uh, you can't set cookies from the body of a request. They need to exist in the header. And so this is why we can't set cookies during render. If we ever wrapped our component in a suspense boundary, uh, React would start streaming down some HTML, the headers would be closed, we wouldn't be able to append to them, and so any future call to cookies.set would just go into the void. It, it, there would be no header for you to be able to write because we're already in that body phase of our HTTP request. So I hope this provides you with some sort of answer for why you can't set cookies during the render of server components. It's because those server components might be wrapped in a suspense boundary and that suspense boundary might start streaming, which means you can no longer write HTTP headers. Now let's go back to our Next.js app and let's comment out all of our cookie code and let's talk about how do we actually set cookies when you're using Next.js. There is a file in Next called middleware and this middleware file is going to run before Next.js starts rendering your React server components. So when Next.js runs this middleware function, uh, streaming has not yet started and uh, we can come over here and we can grab the response from next response, use response.cookies.set, and then finally we can return that response. 
Now, if we save this file, we don't get any cookie set error. We'll pop open our dev tools. We'll go over to the network tab, give this a reload. And if we look at the headers, we are going to see a call right here to set cookie. And over in our application tab, uh, we are going to see our cookie right from Next.js. We can clear our cookies, reload, and it comes right back. So when you want to set cookies from Next.js, it's important you do them before render. Next.js gives you a place, uh, this middleware file, to do just that. So hopefully you found this video helpful and hopefully this cleared up why you're seeing that error when you try to set cookies in Next.js. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.